Okay, today we have a Vivor electric jackhammer. It's going to be a 3600 watt um, demolition hammer from Morphon. Now, they have a pretty beefy box set up here, so I'm going to skip past that. All right, now that we've got the bulk of the box out of the way, let's go ahead and get the styrofoam open. And inside we have our new jackhammer. Uh, right off the top, you're going to see some handling instructions and knocking the camera out of the way. Now that isn't saved. Let's take a look and see what we have here. Now it's going to inc include two chisels. Now this one is going to be your chisel set. And this, the next one should be just the point. And these are pretty hefty and a nice setup. I like the way to keep them dry and away. Some handling gloves. And we got some maintenance tools. Of course, we have a dust mask as well as our instruction manual, which is really basic. Now for the meat and potatoes of this. This thing is kind of hefty a bit more than i was expecting but i love the swivel handle as you can see i can spin freely and it uses standard wall outlet power this thing has one of the easiest quick change chisels i've ever seen with this little pin you pull 180 degrees you're going to rotate that cam inside let me go ahead and get the chisel i need that's the wrong one There we go, this is the chisel piece. This flat edge needs to go where that cam is. Rotate 180, locked in place. Easy. All right, I went ahead and got this connected to house power and I've got my chisel in place. Let's get rid of this annoying little block here. Now it doesn't have the punch on the chisel to bore a hole through a flat edge. But as soon as you start getting towards an edge, you're going to start chunking it off pretty easily. You're going to see a lot of bit and debris and stuff flying off this because it's a pneumatic hammer. Please wear eye protection when you're doing this. They included gloves. They included a mask. I would have liked to see them include you know, a pair of safety glasses or something to make it a little bit easier to use. As you can see, it does make pretty short work out of this block. I'm not having a whole lot of trouble getting through anything once I have it lined up properly. It's decently heavy, uh, not so much so that you can't use it, you know, one person, but you definitely gonna need a little upper body strength to get running on this thing. One of the tricks with most jack cameras is since it is heavy, just go ahead and let it do the work for you. You see it, how easy it split that giant piece. And that is my project.